Launching new products is an expensive move these days, especially when your plant is part of a bigger corporate network. Some companies, like Continental Automotive Foix in France, do extremely well at this. To learn more, we turn to Jean Casabille. He is the plant manager of Continental Foix. Jean, the jury of the Industrial Excellence Award granted you the top European prize and said that your team demonstrated the most visible example of lean supply of any company that they really reviewed. What really is your secret? Well, I mean, uh, there is no secret. I mean, what we need to do is to follow our continental business system rules and uh, really focusing on uh, optimizing our supply chain uh, all along uh, from suppliers to, uh, to customer and uh, trying to reduce uh, our, uh, mainly our stock, re reducing our throughput time and uh, uh, optimizing our uh, working capital. And this is due to the fact that we apply this uh, lean line uh, concept with uh, lean clever automation and also that we think about that since the quotation of, uh, of the product, uh, what we, what we really, really need to do is to work with uh, our R&D people, uh, optimizing the product and uh, uh, taking into account since the beginning all uh, what we need for having, an, uh, having a good um, supply chain and optimizing uh, our production, optimizing our flow, and uh, uh, especially reducing what we call uh, reducing waste. Uh, that's, that's really the, the point. I mean, the key point is really uh, design for manufacturing, uh, lean, uh, lean application, and uh, to follow the tack, the tack time of the customer. The jury also mentioned that management at Continental Foie and the workforce were pretty humble. Now, Steve Schick said that he was impressed by the way that you implemented your corporate strategy from management all the way down through the workforce. Are you doing anything differently than the others? It's well, it, it is what we, what we discussed today. It's, it's about trust and fairness, and, uh, but trust is very important, making people to be, uh, to be autonomous, to give them all the skills to, to understand the problem and even to solve the problem. Uh, this is uh, really important. Uh, um, well, I, I'm, I will not solve every problem. I mean, people should be able to, so, uh, to solve the, uh, the issue at their, uh, at their level. Uh, they should have the knowledge for that. This is also part of our continental business system, uh, to really to, uh, to trust the people, to, uh, to, to, to give them the, the possibility to, uh, to grow and uh, at the end to put the, va the value to the customer uh, at the right place and uh, for the benefit for the company. Continental is not only efficient, but you're pretty fast in getting new products launched onto the market very quickly. How do you speed things up there? What is important is to have really our launch manager and our industrial engineering um, from the plant uh, directly involved in the code uh, to the customer and uh, they really follow the, the product development putting, putting in uh, uh, and taking care that all the requirements for the lean application, lean clever automation, standardization, process standardization are really put in, in the development so then when you arrive at the, uh, at the manufacturing phase um, you do not discover uh, there is no mistake or you, you try to reduce the mistake and, and then you, you, you do not have several loop in terms of uh, improvement. So we should have a good first pass yield for, uh, for the development and that's what we try to, to do that. And keeping close uh, manufacturing and development then you, you really uh, put lesson learn in, in each development and uh, then you, you, can speed, you can speed up and uh, you can make it good the first time. How is green technology really affecting your product mix now? Do you see much demand for electric vehicle components? Yeah, well, uh, electric vehicle is, uh, is a good opportunity for uh, um, having uh, uh, to enlarge our portfolio of, of product and to uh, really uh, grow on, on this market. Uh, we are really at the start of, uh, of this kind of uh, vehicle, but it, it can be really promising for, for the future. And anyhow, you, you, you must have it uh, because customer 
uh, and final customer uh, will ask for it. So we are, we are starting to manufacture such a, such a product. It's promising, but I would say as, uh, as always in innovation, you never know what will be, uh, what will be the future. I mean, that's, we, we, uh, there is quite a lot of hope in, in and uh, we can expect that it will come for, for the environment. Uh, but until now, I, I cannot tell what will be the share of, uh, of uh, this kind of uh, product, but we need to have it. How is the Euro crisis affecting your business now? Well, Euro crisis is uh, affecting us, uh, in fact, uh, because uh, most of the uh, South uh, state of Europe are really in the crisis, and of course we are affected by, by this because we, we, we see the, um, the volume decreasing, and as it is part of our, uh, of our customer uh, market share, uh, of course we are, we are suffering about, about that. Where do you see your most promising markets? Well, that question is quite difficult because, you know, the, um, the market is really uh, moving up and down today. Um, what is important is that, uh, I would say first, is that uh, our customer, if our customer feel good, I mean, we, we, will, feel, uh, we will feel good too. Uh, and it is important to offer to our customers the right product. And today, well, what, what, is, uh, what, is, what we need to do is really to, to stick to our customer demand in terms of uh, a low emission, reduction of consumption, and uh, all these kind of uh, topics that we, that we are working on. What promising businesses do you really see in the future? I would say that uh, up to now we were quite... Uh, uh, happy with uh, the uh, the entry business uh, that we had with uh, with local score, but uh, we also see that uh, even in Asia the iron product are quite popular. Huh? So on both sides, I would say you, you on both sides you need to have this uh, this product in your portfolio. I, I would not say that there is one market more than well, than one other. Jean Casabille, we thank you very much for joining NC at Knowledge. Thank you.